Good morning, boys and girls. This is Teacher Zola from the School of Healing Martial Arts in Long Beach, California. Before we begin the class today, I wanted to mention Dr. Daniel Hoover and his wife, Veronica Hoover. They have YouTube videos that teach basics of the Tai Chi 24 Yang form, and they, they also do some martial arts demonstrations on how the moves are used for demonstration purposes, and so that you kind of know where your hands are supposed to be and your feet, and it's, uh, they're fantastic videos to look at. Now, for a little inspiration, I thought I would share the Tao, which I learned, or a broadsword. Now, after Master Tom Tran was kind enough to teach me 24 Tai Chi Yang, um, he introduced me to the Tao. And um, I was able to win second place in Tai Chi competition with Lightning Tai Chi and Master Singh's organization one year. And so, um, besides competition, it's just a fun thing to do. All right. And, you know, some of them are heavier. This is a practice now. All right. So it looks much more difficult than it is. All right. Like with regular Tai Chi, we start with our feet together and head up, shoulders down. Very similar from the beginning of the 24 Tai Chi. So, ready. Once you learn the 24 Tai Chi form, there's others, there's the 108, there's 42, there's a 43 form, a whole bunch. But it's a journey. It's a 
trip that you can take for improving your health. Tai Chi helps you internally and externally, all right? And it's a smooth exercise, an easy exercise that you can do all your life. You can Google who's the oldest Tai Chi instructor or person who's doing Tai Chi. And uh, with a good diet and good exercise, you will feel the difference. Now, let us just do a little warm up. Let's swing our arms. That's right, swing. You can do it slow. You don't have to do it fast. If you have shoulder issues, you might want to just do it very moderately, okay? Very slowly, turning your waist. See, Tai Chi helps you know what's going on with your body. Become very aware of something's an ouchie one place or another, all right? All right. And so you definitely want to learn to turn your waist. And for those younger folks, sometimes it's fun to just swing and go up, swing and go up, swing and go up, just because you can. And for us older kids, sometimes just close to the body. How about that? Now, we were talking about, in our past videos, about keeping your arms round. All right? So you might want to try to get a ball. I've had this ball for over 18 years. Master Tom Tran gave me this ball to help me understand making sure my arm is not straight. And it's round. That you hold the ball round. All right? When you're doing party while horses made, it's round. when you're doing even brush knee, okay? That it's sort of around. You don't want to have straight arms. When you're doing repulse monkey, it's also round. Also round, okay? So, as I said, perhaps you would like to get a ball. Still works, Master Tom. <laughs> and uh, I have it. I wrote on it, Zola's Tai Chi ball. <laughs> you may want to get a ball to remind yourself how to work with that. But right now, let's do some weight shifts. We've got our ball. Remember, sometimes we do it like it's an imaginary ball. But now, you've got to, you know, get your real ball and shift your weight to the left, bending your left knee. Pull. Shift your weight to the right. Shift your weight to the left. Shift. Switching with your right hand is up. Shift the weight. Now let me face you and do that. Okay? So here we are. We're shifting to the left. We're pulling. We're shifting to the right. We're pulling, shifting back. Shifting this way, shifting to your right. Now, we're going to the left, the left hand is on top. If we're going to the right, the right hand is on top. If you're going to the left, the left hand is on top. If you're going to the right, the right hand is on top. And this is with wave hands. So again, going to the right, Right hand is on top, going to the left, left hand is on top. Right, left. Now let's put it back to you. Right, left. Right, and left. Right, make sure your knees are bent. Left, turning your waist. Now, putting down the wall, ball, this here. So 
always put up your toys or your instruments, whatever you're working with. Don't leave them scattered around where somebody can trip on them. All right? You're doing with the ball, right? And this is the imaginary ball, all right? We've got the ball in our hands here. Remember, our arms are round. Our hands are round. They're not flat. But you can't hold the ball if the hands are flat. So shifting to the left. Shift. Swing around to the right. Shifting to the left. And it's a good exercise for you to do to practice your weight shifts, which are very important with Tai Chi. Shift and turn. Shift and turn. Shift. Going to the right. The right hand comes up, the left hand is on the bottom. Making sure your hands are around, arms are around. No fat hands. No curves. This is wave hands. Again, got the ball in the center. We shift to the left, we turn to the left, we shift right. Ball over out to the right. We shift to the left and we pull the ball all the way around to the left. Shift to the right. Shift left. Shift to the right with the right hand on top, the left hand on the bottom. Turning your waist. So much to remember. But you can do it. So much to remember. And as I was saying, as you get better at it, at the Tai Chi, then you can consider learning the different martial arts instruments, weapons. Control is like go as slow as you can. Slow it down. Slowing it down with control. Turning your waist. Relaxing your mind. Thinking nothing. Just thinking about what you're trying to achieve. The softness, no muscle. Don't do it hard. Be soft. It's a high block and a low block. High block and a low block. If you go back here, it's to grab somebody who's trying to be naughty. get further along, I like to try to point out things for competition, that not only are they looking at the weight shifts, but sometimes if you're doing wave hands, it's turning the hand down as you get to the midway point, flipping it down. That's further down the line, right? Okay, so right now we're just going to be doing wave hands, wave hands, 
Shoulders are down. Head is up. Some people like you to follow the hand. Some people like you to just kind of look straight ahead and use your peripheral vision so that you can see in all directions. Now, a little bit of arm circles. For those who have shoulder issues, don't do this, all right? If you can, always try to check with the doctor before you begin any exercise, even Tai Chi. You know, make sure that you have good basic health and that you don't have too many ouchies like on your knees and your shoulders, your wrists, right? But exercise does tend to help. So a little, let's do some arm circles. Let's do it back. Let's do this swimming backwards. And I'm doing this all for you to be able to concentrate on what your body is doing and what it can do, or what it can't do. And if you have an ouchie, if something hurts, you should check with your doctor and get it fixed. If you're past 25, don't think that it's going to just heal itself. What you want to do is go and get it checked out to make sure that you don't aggravate anything. That you, uh, like my husband, Teacher Odie, he had a shoulder pain and he thought it was just a, you know, something he could work out playing the drums. Found out that he pulled the muscle. So, by example, One last thing that I want to talk about today, besides the wave hands, is again, walking meditation. So, walking forward, all oh, the way back here, walking forward. We're starting off with the left foot, breathing in, breathing out, heel to toe. Not focusing on a point that you're trying to get to, but focusing on where you are, thinking about where you are this moment in time. You're not in the past, you're not in the future. All right? Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. I'm going to do this walking meditation away from you. And the concept is that you are here. You're in the moment. You have left the past, you're not in the future. So deal with the present. Deal with any balance issues. All right. So let's do it. Okay. It's going this way. Feet together. You can put your hands on your hips if that's better. Or I like to put them behind you. Shifting to the right. Stepping out. Breathing in. Breathing in.
last time, put it this way. So, keep together. Got them? All right. If you're doing it with your friends, whoever comes in last is the winner. So, no stopping, but going as slow as possible, concentrating on each move, doing it very slowly, very even. Don't speed up, don't go too fast, just try to keep the same pace throughout, all right? Which is a good practice for learning your Tai Chi 24 Yang. When you want to do it smoothly, not too fast. All right. Breathing in. not want to think about, I want to get over there. You think about where you are in the moment, in time. This moment in time. This moment in time. I've left the past. Can't think about the past anymore. I'm hopeful for the future, but I'm dealing with this particular moment in time. And it helps, you know, I used to use it when I was at work sometimes. If things got stressful, I would think in my head, walking meditation. I'm here, I know what I need to do. Can't deal with what was done in the past, even an hour ago, unless I'm trying to fix it. But going forward in the future, enjoying each and every moment in time. Again, I'm going to remind you to exercise at least 20 minutes a day. You know, if you do a walk, do something to help increase your brain cells. Do something to help improve your sugar, your cholesterol. Exercise. Even Western medicine says exercise helps improve your blood work. All right. So don't get lazy, okay? Don't be crazy. Get up and exercise do what you need to do. Trying to know what to do and when to do it and have the wisdom and the ability to follow through. I want to do my greeting with Master Tom, Dr. Dan Hoover, Doug and Margaret Robson, Lap Wing, and uh, George Yen. Oh, or one. Lee, as well as Michelle, and Saul, and Harvey, and a host of folks that have helped me on my Tai Chi journey. I want to thank Steve, and Lisa, and Helen as well, and Alfred and James, all you wonderful people out there. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good exercise. Keep up enjoying life, all right? And all the possibilities. I saw the other day that a woman, 101 and another 102, running track. They started when they were 50 years old. Can you imagine? So if they can do it, imagine what you can do. Because if you imagine it, you can do it. I believe in you. All right, gotta go now. I got errands to do.